Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome uh, to our town hall meeting uh, to discuss uh, genetically modified mosquitoes. We hope that uh, today that uh, we will be able to answer your questions and you may become more informed about the proposed uh, trial from uh, Oxitec Mosquito. Market process. Again, that's once there's a full approval. This is just an investigational stage. But for new animal drugs, once there's a, a full approval, there are requirements for reporting um, what we refer to as any adverse events. Um, there are inspections that take place post-market and all that sort of thing. Thank you very much. When big pharmaceutical companies come out with a new drug, they only conduct human trials on people who are in the last stages of disease. In other words, they're trying to find out whether or not something works and they want to do a human trial. They do it with people who are at the end stage or very seriously ill. And I think the question that ever is on everybody's mind and has, has been asked of me several times is, why are, is Oxitec and Mosquito Control doing this here? now in the Florida Keys when we don't have a problem. If you wanted to, to if you wanted to test this on what essentially are human subjects, you're conducting a medical trial on human subjects, conduct it in an area which is in a very serious trouble in terms of dengue fever and the and and, and the uh, Aedes aegypti mosquito. I, I just don't understand why here, why now. That's why I don't. Mr. Walburn. Um, I'd also like to point out that um, Mr. Hamilton up, up in the panel right here and uh, Mr. Irwin are members of our uh, community advisory group. They live in the, in the uh, test area and um, uh, they they have input to, to the board and um, an input on the, on the whole process. So um, that is why they're sitting up, up front. Our next question, Beth? Yeah, we do. Oh, I'm sorry. You had to answer that. Right. Uh, I, I can give a general. Okay, you yeah. up. if you could add general about, about techniques generally, and then I'll speak about our area. Yes. So. If I heard the question correctly, it's, 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 it's why, why are we doing this, this here in the Keys? And dengue is increasing worldwide, as we noted in the slide, and it's increasing almost exponentially. And so we want to provide a technology that will prevent it from coming here. If we control the mosquito, you prevent dengue from coming here. So we're providing something that's actually helping to prevent it to come back to the Keys. Okay, okay. And let's, so. let's go ahead and get through all the questions and then we'll have a chance to discuss it further. Uh, I think that would be the most efficient way to get it done, Mr. Doyle. Okay, um, I'm, I'd like uh, Dr. Rebar, who's, who's been here for over a decade and was here during the, uh, the, the first epidemic to, um, to answer that and then if I can, we can add more. Uh, actually, yes, uh, according to a strict definition of the word, it was an epidemic. There were actually, uh, over the two years, uh, 92 people identified as having uh, locally acquired dengue in, this, in the city of Key West. Okay. Please, please, let them answer. Let me, yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me finish something. Um, What's happening, and you say we don't have dengue here right now, and that's true. We don't. Absolutely right. We had dengue serotype 1.